If you missed our last two episodes, I showed you what life was like after I got locked down in my friend Phoebe's hotel in Shanghai, just days before me and Jack were meant to fly to opposite ends of the world. We basically repeated the exact same routine for five days, until the day we believed we would be released. Here's hoping I would get back home to see Jack one last time. Way Apparently one person's test is not back and they don't know when it's coming, which means we don't know when we're going to get out. The group chat is going wild. Everybody wants to leave, not feeling hopeful that it's going to be tonight. like such a surreal moment. I cannot wait to see Jack. There he is. I see him. Hello. Oh my god, she lives. She lives. She lives. <laughs> 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 well, I don't know if this hotel can quite match what you and Phoebe have been living up to. <laughs> but we have got some snacks here for you. So we've got some super noodles and some toenail peppers. Sorted mate. <laughs> Freedom food. Mm -hmm. You happy? <laughs> I'm happy to see you. This uh, hotel room is a little bit small. I'm pleased I wasn't quarantined in here for five days, let me tell you that. I'm pleased I wasn't locked in this room. This room is really quite small. At least I'm in it. Yeah, you're here. I'm pleased we're going to spend a whole day together before we leave each other for two months. Oh, sh yeah, it wasn't exactly how we planned on spending our last week in China. <laughs> we made the most of our final 24 hours together in Shanghai and in China by walking all over the city, taking in the sights, shooting some cute pics and eating one last bowl of noodles. Well, maybe two. Of course, this little heavenly day always had to come to an end and we were brought back down to earth by that most mundane of tasks. The fun part, packing. These are what I am taking to New Zealand. This is all summer stuff right here. And then this is what Jack is taking back to the UK, which is all winter stuff. So I'm trying to pack light, but you know, it's kind of difficult. I've got two bloody computers because of China's antiquated banking system. <laughs> Our business account will not accept uh, a Mac. In fact, it won't even accept a lot of newer Windows computers. So I carry around this absolute tank of a laptop just so I can do online banking here in China. Got the most important thing as well, my HSK book. So I'll come back to China and my Chinese is gonna be fire. Oh, so missus, we're all packed up basically, but I am actually still yet to book a flight out of bloody China. I found an absolute banging cheap flight, but I gotta go through Qingdao. There is a chance I'll get put in quarantine if I go there. I tried ringing them, but they were uh, not picking up the phone. So I might just send it, you know? I wouldn't risk it, but it is like half the price, so. <sighs> Man, that seems like a right gamble. But my flight leaves 12 hours before his, so it's not my problem. All right, step one of Nico's journey completed. Step two, possibly one of the most exciting experiences we've had in China, but we've saved it until the very end. Yes, that's right, guys. We are getting the maglev. For those of you who don't know, the maglev is one of the world's most advanced trains. It basically floats through the air, but I was a, bit, a little bit disappointed to arrive and see that it's just like a simple red rope. It doesn't seem very high tech. It's like something from the 1920s. One, two, three bags. I can't carry them all. That's why Jack's come to help. To be honest, the bags are pretty light. It's the uh, emotional support that's weighing me down. <laughs> that's the heavy burden, isn't it? Looking after my beautiful wife, B. <laughs> oh, shit. here it comes, here it comes. Yeah, it's the Magda. Whoa. Yes. Unhook those low tech barriers, please. I've got a plane to catch. Magda, Magda. <laughs> you ever get that feeling though, like you've forgotten something? Oh, I know what it is. I forgot to bring my Maglev cap in. <laughs> my Maglev t shirt. Actually, gonna be levitating and floating through the air. It's magic, mate. Oh, yeah. We have liftoff. Like many men who have traveled through the depths of space, of course, everything has to come crushing back down to earth. For me, that means 
saying goodbye to my beautiful wife, Fee. Aww. In a minute. I can't believe this. Oh, no, you're gonna make me cry. Okay, I'm okay, we'll hold it together. We'll hold it together a second. <laughs> Oof. I'm not gonna miss the excessively loud volume of Chinese loudspeakers. Buy stuff, see you in New Zealand. The bag's packed, it's okay. Got that? Yep. Right. It's the end of our China journey, eh? What bus has been? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, I just feel like I've cried in so many videos this year, but yeah, it is emotional and like, I'm just really sad. I'm just really sad to leave you and I'm, I'm sad to leave China as well. Yeah, next time we come back to China, it's going to be a lot happier, a lot less tears, isn't it, right? Yeah, and I know this has now really been like a really hard year for most people out there as well. And I just hope that like things are gonna change and next year we'll be able to come back. Spoiler alert, things are changing way faster in China than anybody could have expected. Maybe this means we can come back sooner than we thought. And I promise next time we do come back to China, there will be a lot less tears. It's gonna be too big. Oh, let's go put you through, yeah? I love you. Okay. Aww. Bye. Watching this back is heart-wrenching. Oh, I feel like when Nico's really upset, it kind of like hardens my nerves. I feel like it gives me the energy to fight through for the both of us. But now she's gone, I feel pretty good, obviously. It's very surreal. I'm going to be spending my last night in China on my own. <sighs> we have not been apart for this long. In like, I want to say six years. I'm not independent anymore. I spent all my time with Jack. Maybe this is gonna be a good thing, but um, it's still sad, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna try and focus on the positives so that I get to see my family, which I'm so excited about. Positive mindset. Well, it makes me feel better knowing he isn't having nearly as much fun without me. It feels very weird being here in the hotel room on my own. All of my stuff's all packed up. I'm not sure it's gonna be under the 25 kilo limit. Uh, a bit worried about that, but screw it. I'll figure it out tomorrow. I've got about three hours before I have to get up and then take a taxi for my flight. So I'm gonna get some rest. She'll feel, hopefully I'm sure, a little bit better once she's on the flight. Speaking of which, looks like we are boarding. My last steps in China for who knows how long. Bye China. And here's my seat. Haha, <laughs> wish. Economy for me. Feeling a little bit anxious. A bit sad that Jack's not here because I don't like flying on my own. So I chose the window and I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm regretting it now. What about you guys? Are you aisle or window? There's an empty seat beside me. Will it stay empty? Everyone cross your fingers, come on. We are moving and we have a free seat. Oh yes. I reckon we need a cheeky beer to celebrate. Ooh, and dinner has arrived. A bit soft, doesn't have much taste. Yeah, that wasn't good. The bread was sweet. Never mind, I'll just have some chocolate and watch a film. It doesn't work, like nobody's watching anything. Oh well, I'll just go to sleep then. Oh dear god, 3.25 a.m. alarm is not the one. Now I've got to try and figure out how to shut the case. Now for the judgment time. Yeah, there is no way that bag is 23 kilos, Jack. All right, I did it, I got through. Seven kilos over. The absolute legend let me on. Don't want to reveal his or her identity in case I get in trouble. Oh, I'm glad to be missing this. I get so bored waiting for Jack whilst he unpacks and repacks all of his camera gear every single time we fly. I was hoping that they were also as lenient on the international flight in terms of baggage. I suspect not. I think uh, airlines are a lot more relaxed here in China. I don't know if I want to throw away seven, seven kilograms worth of stuff. I don't reckon you'll have a choice, mate. Literally everything is closed. I'm probably not going to be able to leave the airport in Qingdao. I'm really hoping that um, there's going to be something to eat there because otherwise I'm screwed. Nah, I don't reckon there will be. All right, we're up. Let's go. As he headed back to sleep, somewhere over the South Pacific, I was awoken to the smell of a cheeky chow fan. And everyone around me seems to have also ordered chow fan. So I think I made the right choice. Yeah. A little bit bland, but it will do. And before long, I spotted land. Well, hey, can't be long now. And Jack should have finished his short flight up to Qingdao by now. Fingers crossed they let him in. 
wow in my entire life that is the first time my bag has ever come out first it's just a bit of a shame i've got a bloody six or seven hour wait until my next flight i'm sure it will fly by especially by the time he has managed to figure out the local health app and secured himself a final chinese covid test I just cannot even tell you how relieved I am that they let me in. It's just been a bit of a stress, I'm not going to lie. Thinking whether Qingdao are going to make me quarantine, am I going to get stuck in a quarantine hotel or even worse, one of those centralised quarantine facilities for seven days. That's a relief, although I wouldn't know his fate until I landed. So I can see New Zealand out of the window. It looks so green and hilly and I'm just so excited to finally be here. I do now have a six and a half hour wait before my 12 hour flight back to London. So I thought I'd do a bit of spot of editing. The problem is the contents of this video have made me very, very hungry indeed. And it seems like almost everything is shut in this airport. Hmm, not looking hopeful. Oh, but look, a Mr. Lee's. I can't even begin to explain how many times over the years when I've been traveling in China, Mr. Lee has helped me out. I never eat this when I'm in Beijing. Good to see that even in the middle of the pandemic, Mr. Lee won't shut his doors. And depending where you eat it in China, the menu will vary slightly. Will he go for a local Qingdao speciality? I've got some Chongqing meat noodles. I guess like a sort of Xiaomian sort of thing, but in more of a broth. Mm. Not the most authentic I've ever had, but I'm going to save it every last bite. There's the ticket, Harry. And now I've got some food in me. I'm gonna go face the music and see if I can get this absolutely elephant of the case checked in. Uh-oh, this is not looking promising. Better get repacking. Oh, he did it, sneaky bastard. I went about stuffing everything I owe into a tote bag, putting on a load more clothes. To be honest, I'm an absolute sweaty mess now. I'm just carrying the extra weight on the plane anyway, so what difference does it make? I mean, such a silly system, really, isn't it? It is indeed. He is hoping I have a smoother arrival into New Zealand, eh? So I'm just sitting on the plane, waiting to get off. The anticipation is killing me. I've waited three years to see my family. Come on, come on, come on. Uh-oh, more tears. I promise they are happy tears though this time. <laughs> oh, it's been three years. I can't believe I'm actually here in New Zealand. Oh, it has been so lovely seeing my parents for the first time in three years and meeting my niece and nephew for the first time. Although I almost wasn't allowed into New Zealand. More on that later. First, let's see how Jack is getting on. Look how deserted this uh airport is there's just nobody here it's so crazy just oh my god what covid has done to the world eh when will international travel properly be a thing again i hope sometime soon because i know that many of you guys who watch this channel are uh, overseas uh, whether voluntarily or involuntarily and i know there's a lot of people who would love to come and visit china me included i'm just about to leave but i'd love to just come back asap uh, just even just to do some tourism would be sick Anyway, you'd better get going, Jack. We don't want you missing your flight. Onto the plane. I can't believe it. Ah, all the good things must come to an end, I suppose. Wow, his plane looks so empty. At least he'll be able to stretch out. But his plane meal, on the other hand, looks... Um, well, how is it, Jack? doesn't appear to have any in-flight entertainment on his budget flight either, so he'll just have to spend his time filming some creamy b-roll and editing some Beijing pics. Ooh, another meal. Is it tasty? Oof, no, that looks rough. Looks like we have landed. We're now back home in London. Wow, the cabin crew really don't want to catch COVID, do they? All right, first impression wild even the uh, police officers aren't wearing masks i just realized i'm gonna feel super self-conscious vlogging anyway back in the uk because people are actually gonna understand what i'm saying it's kind of awkward isn't it whatever go grab your stuff and meet your parents eh to be honest i'm currently experiencing like sensory overload every time i hear someone speak i think they're talking to me like i've not heard this much english spoken in a long long time oh and the thing i'm most happy about is i didn't even have to download the local bloody gian Campbell healthcare app how long do you reckon he'll last before he catches covid there they are
What a lovely welcome. It has been so nice seeing family these past couple of weeks, but Jack has had a slightly different experience. So let's give him a call and see what he's been up to. Hey, Aunt Mrs. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Well, I have had a super fun time. I have spent the last two weeks in my bedroom, in my parents' house, staring at the walls because as soon as I got back, I got COVID, didn't I? Took me about 24 hours, didn't it? Bloody hell. Step off the plane, get COVID. Yeah, and from what I hear, you had a little bit of uh, drama as well getting into New Zealand, didn't you? Oh, do you know what, right? I had this meeting my parents planned in my head for months. I was so excited. I got my bags mm -hmm. and then I got whisked away by security. Why? I guess they thought I was some world-class top drug smuggler or something. He literally searched through my bag. And at this point, I'm kind of my pants because I'm traveling on my own. Obviously there was times that I left my luggage like in the compartment to go to the bathroom. So I'm thinking, what if someone's put something in it? Like And also I had that Szechuan pepper and I was like, I've got Szechuan pepper. Got Szechuan, Szechuan pepper. <laughs> Oh dear, it sounds like such a ball ache. Has it been worth it though, do you think? Oh, it's definitely been worth it. It's just so nice seeing family, um, sit, meeting my niece for the first time, getting to see my parents again, getting to spend time with this little fella. Oh. This is Pino. He's so handsome. Say hi, Pino. Hi, Pino. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so handsome. He's, he's on guard. What about you? How's it been with the two doggos? I've had a really nice time with the two doggos. <laughs> But I think uh, after this COVID debacle and everything else that's gone on, I'm going to be excited to come and meet you in New Zealand for sure. Yeah, I'm so excited to actually like have a bit of time where we get to travel together for once and not have these kind of crazy uncertainties. Um, and it'll be other problems, you know, like we've run out of petrol, or, well, diesel, our van breaks down. Me and you, there's definitely going to be drama. <laughs> yeah, I think we should definitely film the, uh, the adventures that we have in New Zealand and if we go anywhere else as well, because there's always something. Love it. And speaking of videos, we've got a whole load of China content that we filmed before we left, starting off with a super fun Shanghai series. So make sure you subscribe to check that out. You will be the first to know when we release our new channel, but we are actually having a little bit of trouble coming up with a name. So guys, if you have any ideas what we should call it, leave a comment below. We'll see you next time. Bye.